Hello, really base here, and today I'm going to start a new series that's going to be more focused on doing tutorials. And the first tutorial today that I'm going to be doing is a tutorial on how to make your first video game. Making video games is a pretty hard thing, but if you go to this nice little website here called Scratch, you can make games in minutes. It's pretty impressive. So, uh, today I'm going to make like a shooter game where you can shoot when you click and you shoot at targets so what i'm going to want to do is click on paint new s well first you're going to want to get rid of the scratch cat he used to be there but you right click on him and click on delete after you've done that click on the little paintbrush icon it says paint new sprite when you mouse over it then just make some sort of background i'm just going to make a nice red background for now uh, slightly darker. And I'm just gonna read something on it. This uh, right there, shooting range. There, okay. This is gonna be our first sprite. You could use a backdrop, but this sprite is going to shake when we shoot. So what we're gonna do is get a uh, go to events and when the green flag is clicked we need a motion. We'll go to the motion tab and click on go to X and Y. Type in zero for both of those. So then when you click it should go to the middle. So after you've done that you going to click on the paint new sprite uh, paintbrush again and I'm just gonna make some makeshift targets you can make whatever you want but I'm gonna make some nice targets here fill that in and I'm gonna make little red strikes I don't have to take that much time on them there we go I'm a nice little target here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate them. Let's say you get five of them. And just put them in some nice spots. We're going to make a random um, script that which will put them in random places. So now we're going to have to go to data, make a variable called round or just round so now we can see what round we are on with this little icon thing up there right now it's set to zero which is good so now what we're going to have to do is paint a new sprite just make like a little just make the best gun shape you can yeah, there there's my gun so what I'm going to do with this is on, I'm going to get another events when flag clicked. I'm going to set this one to go to where it is right now. So a little lower. So you can still see the gun. Okay. I'll go right there. And where is it? You can just click on that. Click on exposition. It's 44x, so put that in. Then click on the Y. Set negative 74. Okay, so now when it's clicked, it should go right there. Cool. Now I'm going to have to go to get a sound effect. Okay, this is our sound. I have found you can get whatever sound you want. You can just get a random thing. I'll log in. Okay. So now, gotta download this, upload the sound file from where you got it. Uh, mine's in downloads. So I can just type in the first couple letters of it, and that should show up. There you are, and there you go. So now what we do is, after you get your sound, 
You gotta get another win clip. Clip forever. And if go to a sensing and mouse down play the sound. So now we we'll click our sound plays whenever we click on our screen. There we go. So now we got that. And now what we need to do is make a bullet hole. I'm just going to get a small black circle there. So now we also need a new variable called points or score. I'm just going to call mine points. There you go, right there. Just gonna move that over there. So now with this little dot, I'm gonna go into the events tab and when clicked, hide. And then when when clicked, and then we do the same thing with the sound. Forever if sensing. mouse down. So after you have that, we got to create a clone. And then when I start as a clone, show. So now, when you should, you should have clones everywhere. And see, now you have this. So now we shoot. So now, we gotta do something to all of these. Stop it. Need when the sprite clicks. Change points by say five. And we can click and drag this to all of the targets. And there we go, now we're getting points. Every time we shoot them, we're not going to push my shield anywhere else. There we go. So now you can make your own games really easily and simply. Hope you learned something from this tutorial, and have a good day.